Alright, how's it going tonight? Tonight we are looking at the tutorial for making titanium. This is about as basic of a setup as you can get for making titanium. So you'll need a smelter. You put rutile in the smelter. And you put charcoal or coal. Coal coke. Whatever you'd like to use to melt down the rutile. And then with that sitting right next to your mixer, it'll automatically input it into the mixer as molten rutile. And then you need to have either magnesium dust or sodium dust. I use magnesium. And you'll need to have a boiler to run your mixer. Uh, we are going with a very fast setup here. This is a dense and strong bronze setup. Runoff distilled water, which is piped through this pipe in the back here. And we are running that on a steel turbine. Now you can do this with a bronze, 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 so bronze burning box, bronze boiler, and bronze turbine. And it won't really be that slow. Uh, that's what I have done in the past, but we decided to set it up this time with a little bit faster one. And either way you do it, you're going to want to let most of your rutile get done before you worry about getting your boiler up because it will create it really really fast so it's not really necessary to have your boiler running when there isn't stuff in there now while this gets done here it should be doing its last piece now so we'll go ahead and turn that off on the back side here this is the output for the mixer on the back we have a mold this is an ingot mold with a hopper underneath it uh, so this is going to be semi-automated it will automatically pour it out drop it into the hopper and into the chest here now I say it's semi-automated because nothing is going to shut off when it's done you're gonna to have to shut the boilers off and the smelter itself now uh, later on we're going to be setting this up with an automation setup where it will automatically shut itself off when everything is done but this is just the most basic setup for right now and our boiler should be getting up to steam here in a minute and as soon as it does I can show you it pouring. Go ahead and head back on up here. And this setup will work for other things other than titanium. You can actually do uh, stainless steel, invar, red alloy, signalium, bronze, brass, things like that. Alright, so here you go. It's on and it's running. And you'll see the titanium is right there. We can pop one out. Next one pops in immediately. And it will be going through it, like I said, relatively quick. It's doing the last one now, so we'll go ahead and head down, shut it off. Now, just like if you were working in a crucible, you either want to use tongs or a hot suit like I am to pull these out of here. But you will see at least one of them ran all the way through and got in there. So there is your titanium. And now in future updates, Greg has said that this is going to change a little more. So if this is not how to do it when you watch, then look for another video that I have put out that shows the new way of doing it when it changes again. 
but as of the current state of Greg Tech 6 when this was made, this is how you make it. So, have a good one. If you have any questions, let me know.